I didn't exactly turn it. Oh, this is beautiful. So I made it to the bottom. The continuation you've got so far me leaving Penetanguishene and up through, and I've just met up with uh, the bottom tip of Beausoleil Island. And you can see the winds just howling up Chimney Bay. So I am gonna try and scoot along shore here. I'm fairly shallow draft. Extreme shallow. So I should be able to stay in the lee and head up to Lost, uh, Lost Channel. And so now you're going to get me skirting up. It's uh, 6.30, 6. So I'll have a look. We've got about two hours of sun. So I'm still good to go for a bit. Beautiful though. That's open Georgian Bay there. So now I'm gonna watch out where I'm going because I'm in uncharted waters. Nice thing about um, Pro is you can stand up on the rowing seat and look right down. <laughs> it's pretty shallow here. Extreme shallow. But it's still about six feet, five, six feet. So I'm just looking out for these boulders, staying away far enough that I get around the corner here. Wow, this is open Georgian Bay and it isn't looking that bad. Offshore breeze off the shore here, so. Pretty as this. So motor's handy sometimes. There you go. Back to watching what I'm doing. Okay, on the horizon, Doom Island over there. So it's windy here, but not wavy. You can see the gusts on the water. Get past these two islands. I do have charts, but I, I just use them as a general guide. I really am looking where I'm going more than anything at the moment. Again, Tomb Island, a different view. Pretty calm here. I'm just going up to that end there. And entering into Pyatt Island's uh, back channel. So we'll head up that way. And then I'll be at Lost Bay, so I'm not far from where I'm going to be overnighting. And the sunny side. Went through a few shoals, but just quick uh, knock the motor down to go slow. I'm going to rig myself a, a kill line so that if I really see something bad, I can shut the motor right off. All is well now. Yes, windy, but no waves. So, and I'd be sailing right into the wind, so motor's the right answer. How beautiful is this? So I'm approaching, uh, I believe it's a Coast Guard Keeper's uh, station, but it's an old range light for coming into Penetang and Midland that uh, lines up over there with the one on Beausoleil. So I'll show you that when we go past. There must be some good fish here. Seagulls and birds, so that also might mean a shoal. <laughs> so I'll keep an eye out. But lots of cormorants and lots of seagulls diving and yeah, so I got wind but no wa waves to speak of. I am sort of sailing. I got my mizzen helping a bit. So, okay, I'm not gonna not watch where I'm going for a little while. Okay, oh, we're all zoomed out. Out, there we go, there's the mizzen. So, you can see the gusts coming, but I'm soon, I'm soon uh, just beyond this island. Is, uh, there's a little opening in the, uh, in, at the end of Beausoleil, and then I'll uh, be tucking into Lost Bay. So I'm soon in sh good shelter, but quite beautiful. Okay, now I gotta go watch because the uh, the birds are doing some serious fishing. So I better. Holy cow, they're all over the place here. Let's see. Let's zoom in. See if you can see them. You can hear the wind. 
So they're swooping and there must be a shoal of fish along there and they're rather shy so they're gone. I guess cormorants aren't everybody's favorite bird. Let's see. Here's the opening I have to go to. And looky here, how pretty. Oh, this is beautiful. My opening, so yay, yay, yay. Okay, let's see if we can decipher this. So there's red, but there are two options. <laughs> I'm not seeing green. Well, I went through here last year, I think it's the left one. going to find out. There's sort of a greenish marker on the end there, which kind of I knew that. I hate assuming, but I'll assume it's that one. The rock seems steeper over there. Okay, goodbye open Georgian Bay. Georgian Bay National Parks Canada. Okay, 10 mile an hour, so it is definitely the left. And I'm not doing even 10. Okay, and there's a couple of buoys over there. There seems to be quite a current running. Look at this. Wow. I'm looking at the swirls. There is quite a current. So that must be from the fetch of, uh, of the uh, wind blowing the... Because hardly makes sense. There's more, more than enough water on the other side, right? Um, but because that's open to the same Georgian Bay on the other side. But at any rate, that's okay, there's a current. Everything blows from one end of Georgian Bay to the next. I think they call it a sesh, not a fetch, sorry. Uh, but when the wind's blowing strong, the water kind of piles up at one end of the bay or the other. Georgian Bay Islands National Parks of Canada, Island 176. And I'm, I'm heading in behind, uh, I don't know if you can see it, right into there. Some nice cottages here. Be gemstone, I believe you. It's beautiful. And uh, heading into Lost Bay, either one of these little channels will work, but I think this is the bigger one. And I've been down here fishing before with uh, Brian, Petra, and uh, the kids. Wow, the view. So the wind's streaming out of here, but there's a little hook at the at the back end. Quiet is nice. It just worked out the way the wind was. It was better to come this way. So we'll be on a lookout for shoals. Plainly, there are a few. That's smart. I think we need a little more power. There we go. That'll do it. So it's down a bit. So I do have to be careful. I'm seeing a shoal over here. So we'll just inch forward here. Now, the beauty of uh, having a large skeg protecting your rudder on a boat is it also protects your prop. I think we're good. Well, famous last words. We're not good if we go over there. So maybe this wasn't the entrance. Doesn't look like it's the deep water entrance. We have a dead head there. And we got little scraggly things there. So just good thing I draw 10 inches. <laughs> oh yeah, pile of rocks over here. X beaver dam. Oh, I see, I see the bottom. Okay, it looks like we're over the worst of it. That's just sunlight hitting the bottom. Water looks pretty shallow now. <laughs> Protects it. Wow, you can really see the water line. It's out quite a bit here. So I don't know if uh, if there's 
another way in. This might have been it. It's going to be home for the night. I don't know that I want to go through or just anchor right here. Dip into here. Want to turn that a little sharper, eh? Hmm. Well, I didn't exactly turn it. <laughs> oh shoot! Let's get out of here. And it reversed, didn't hit. Come on, reverse. Uh, am I still recording? I'll bleep out the other stuff. Because of the ore, I didn't get, I didn't turn properly. Okay, let's get out of here. So, I ran right into the rocks there. I couldn't get it turned around. Might have been a wind thing too, because I have a mizzen up, right? Wind might have caught the mizzen and uh, not let me uh, turn. So I built this boat tough, did I say that? <laughs> Don't hit that. Don't hit that again, Roy. Uh, it does not look like it goes through and waters down, so no. There's something on the other side, but no, 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 no. Okay, so throw the anchor out. I can row a bit to where I want to set it and then be done. So I was in the middle of anchoring and I was so distracted because I smashed the rock. I didn't notice there's a nice little spot there I can pull up and just uh, put the anchor down on shore and be able to go for a little walk. So before I get blown off, here I go. Okay, bugs already seem hungry. There goes my nice clean boat. Close up shop. So I tied up here. Bit stinky because the stuff has been underwater for a whole year by shore. But, you know, see, I can wash that at some point. I get a rock to put right there to come up and down a little more easily. So, but how nice is this? Go for a little walk and uh, let's uh, get rid of. Uh... Oh, yeah, they got every island number. This is uh, 189 Lost Bay. So, wow, pretty. Uh, take a picture of the boat before it disappears. The light changes, gets drops below the horizon there. 